Hello everyone, welcome. So today I will be comparing the brand new Samsung S95C against the Sony A95L. Now these two TVs are the latest QD OLED TVs from the two companies. They are definitely going to go head to head throughout this year sales wise and more or less even comparison wise because they are almost uh, going to offer you something a bit different between each other. So look, um, one thing I can say right now is that if you're someone that is a bit price conscious, you don't want to spend a lot of money to test a new technology and buy a new TV, I, I will easily suggest you get your hands on the Samsung S95C simply because it is definitely cheaper. It is cheaper to buy, um, to buy it compared to the a 95l uh, you know what something about Sam, sony that they just seem to to hold to price their their products a little bit higher than than other brands so uh, it, it, at times it is a, it's almost very difficult to justify uh what you are paying for sometimes but it's not always the the case because their products are quite amazing regardless of um of what they end up pricing it at now you have to now look at the looks um look if i love um sony the way they made their new a95 and that's my personal preference there's something about the a95l that i just love um, i love that stand that aluminum stand it's coming with that that aluminum stand is is quite quite good honestly i really love that aluminum stand and that's my personal take on that because i know people do um have their own preferences many people might like the s95c over the a95 in the build department me i just love that uh, beautiful aluminum stand the new aluminum stand is coming with because what it does for for someone like me is that if i get this kind of tv with uh, this new aluminum stand i will not need to mount it on the wall i have said this i'm a big fan of having my tv on uh, on a tv stand like uh, your tv stand in the living room i just like it that way it's very simple to install uh, um, it, it's just easy everything about it is very easy but when you start getting your hands on the on the samsung s95c because of the way it's it's designed and the stand it's coming with it makes it a bit difficult to to just uh always have it on your on your desk because it has a, a smaller stand and um I, I would say it's a bit more fragile uh i'm not saying the stand is weak or anything but when you look at the s95 so you will see that the stand is just like a base below the tv which uh is good but i i just feel that maybe if you have kids or you know i just fear for the the, the stability of the tv uh, and another thing again is that you know samsung honestly they just they, they just make beautiful tvs make no mistake about it um i i'm in love with the one connect box solution you are getting uh with this particular s95c and it even comes in three sizes 55 65 77 inches uh they just give you the sizes so you you make the right decision on uh, on whether you want it or not so i i genuinely will uh still recommend the s uh the the s95c if you're someone that likes a beautiful tv uh, but me in particular i just love the heavy stand that comes with the a95 l uh, i just love that aluminum stand i just see it as a sturdy tv that won't be pushed over easily when you just keep it on your 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 desk or something i just feel it's a better tv overall now in terms of uh the basic features you can expect with these two tvs look the 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 new samsung s95 is coming with wi-fi 5 from last year uh the new sony a95L is coming with Wi-Fi 6. If you're someone that needs the latest Wi-Fi, you will need to get yourself the Sony. Uh, obviously, it, it's very, very simple. You get the Sony because that Wi-Fi 6 is very critical and important for a lot of people because of internet speed. Um, Bluetooth 5.2 is on both of these two TVs. There is no much difference in that uh, in that department. Now, both TVs are Visa 
compatible and they both come with three hd no three usb ports um they're coming with three of the latest usb ports and in terms of hdmi ports you're getting uh four hdmi 2.1 uh ports which uh, i think a lot of people are almost very much interested in but the, another big difference a bit f f between these two tvs is the fact that the samsung s95 supports 4k with 144 hertz of refresh rate and that's if you're watching hdr 10 content but when you compare it against the 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 sony the sony only supports 4k 120 hertz when you're watching hdr content so there's a bit of uh, a letdown in that regard there is auto low latency mode uh on, on both tvs and, um, and that's something that i know a lot of people want in fact there is also um variable refresh rate on both tvs uh, the other thing again is that there is no filmmaker mode on the Sony A95L. There is no filmmaker mode, whereas there is filmmaker mode on the Samsung. So if you need filmmaker mode to be on your TV, because filmmaker mode improves picture quality on any uh, recent OLED TV, you just get yourself the Sony, um, sorry, the Samsung. The, the Sony does not have this feature. Um, the other thing again is that there is no 3D support on both TV, but there is HGIG on the Sony A95L, but there is no HGIG support on the Samsung S95C. Um, now, in terms of speakers, um, th th this is where it becomes very interesting because the 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 Sony A95L is coming with the brand's latest acoustic surface audio plus uh, speaker setup. Uh, it's very powerful. It allows the screen to vibrate and produce incredible sound quality for you for your listening experience. But now, when you compare it against the samsung s95c this model is coming with a 4.2.2 channel dolby atmos 70 watt speaker system inbuilt into the tv now um it's more or less going to be a decision for people to go look at and purchase these two tvs to see if their the, the, the sound system is favorable to them for me i would say I, or i would lean towards the samsung s95c in this department because 70 watts and a 4.2.2 4.2.2 channel system little weird more system is going to be better than that acoustic surface no matter how good the acoustic surface is um, I just feel Samsung is going to be better in the sound department for a lot of people. So if you like sound quality, you might have to get yourself the the Samsung S95C. Um, there is HDMI e ERC support. Um, it's on both TVs, so you are not losing that uh, in, in any in any fashion. Now the Sony only supports DTS digital surround there is no dtsx there is no dts hd there is no dts hd master audio the big problem is that samsung supports zero dts um, audio format so that's a problem as well. for me i've always said is that uh, samsung not including dts support on their tv on their s95c or even any of their flagship uh tvs uh, this year is a problem for 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 a lot of people because people want dts support people watch content with dts audio i understand dolby has become a big 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 um brand in that uh, in, in the fact that the their audio is on literally every kind of content out there so the, i understand they targeted dolby atmos as the main uh audio to be on their television and, and they have all the other dolby uh, formats on on the on, on, on the television but you don't you, look i for one would have wanted um both tvs to support dts uh dtsx uh but you're not getting that on both tvs the only thing you get on the sony a95 is this dts digital surround which uh, is fine but it's not perfect there is hdr 
HDR, there is HDR and HDR10 Plus on the Sony A95L. There is also Dolby Vision, but there is no HDR10 Plus, which is understandable. There is HDR10 Plus uh, on the S95C. There is no Dolby Vision. There is also HLG on this Samsung. There is regular HDR10. You are not going to get Dolby Vision, and I don't see that happening anytime soon. So Samsung just feels like they just don't want to work with Dolby in that in that department. They just want to keep pushing their HDR10 Plus format for as long as they are able to. Um, you are getting Tizen 7.0 on the samsung you are getting google tv and the processor on the a95l is better you're getting the mediatek pentonic 1000 chipset uh, which i think is is better uh, is better than the processor you get in the in, in in the samsung s95c and the other thing again is the because you're getting google tv os it has the ability to be updated easily so you can update you really can update the TV without having any worries uh, whatsoever, and especially in the future. You don't get that um, feature on on this particular Samsung. You, you just don't get it. You don't have the ability to update the OS anytime soon. And there is no Chromecast support on the Samsung S95C. There is zero Chromecast support. There is zero HomeKit support. When you go to the Sony A95L, there is Chromecast support. There is HomeKit. There is Apple AirPlay 2. And there is voice assistant. Yes, there is voice assistant on the, on the Samsung S95C, but the fact that you don't have HomeKit or Chromecast might be a bit of a uh, of a problem for a lot of people that would like these features on their TV, especially if they're going to pay a lot of money to buy these TVs to begin with. Um, but both TVs do have support for YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, Disney Plus, Apple TV app. There is Amazon Prime Video on both TVs, so you're not going to lack in that regard. Um, honestly, I, I would say both TVs are great, but there are some features missing on this Samsung S95C that might deter people from going out to get their hands on it. But if you need convenience, the S95C has this particular uh the, the, this particular thing that it does better than the Sony, which is the fact that it's coming with a one connect box solution. So all your electronics are just on on uh, like separate from the tv so the tv can be mounted on the wall you will not be bothered by cluster or anything um so that's that's one advantage but other than that i would still personally i will pick the sony a95l over the s95 so just by a smidge that's just just by little i just love that aluminium stand that's my personal preference um do subscribe to the channel do like our content i'll see you guys very much next time